Welcome to another day in God's Word and the Alive Church Life Transformation Bible Discipleship Plan. These readings are accessible through Amazon Music and Alexa, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Find out more at AliveChurch.com. As we progress through our Life Transformation Bible readings, we're now on the topic of goodness. Again, one of the fruit of the Spirit. I will express goodness by helping others who are in need. Goodness is love in action, and my desire is to demonstrate to others the fruit of God's goodness. Goodness is a character quality that is produced in my life supernaturally by the Holy Spirit. In the same way Jesus went about doing good, I will go about doing good. Goodness is an expression of Jesus in me. I will express goodness by helping others who are in need. Goodness is the rare quality of generosity and benevolence, a choice to always go the second mile when someone has asked me to go the first. Through the fruit of God's goodness, my focus is shifted from selfish desires to the needs of those around me, and I am able to act in a selfless manner contrary to my flesh. I will express goodness by helping others who are in need. God the Father is working in and through me to change people's lives for the better. I am empowered and energized by the Holy Spirit to express goodness by helping others who are in need. Even when others don't deserve it, I will reach out to them in goodness with a positive action. God's goodness through me will be reflected in generosity, kind-heartedness, and charitable actions. In the same way Jesus was a blessing to his generation, he is using me to bless my generation. Jesus used his resources to do good things for those with whom he came in contact. I give him permission to open my eyes to the needs of those around me and to direct my heart to take action. I will follow his example in being concerned for and involved in meeting others' needs through goodness. For God, our loving Heavenly Father, is just as interested and involved in helping to meet the physical needs of people as he is their spiritual needs. Goodness is an action Jesus did while on this earth and is still doing through me. I will express goodness by helping others who are in need. Therefore, today, I will do good in all the ways I can, to all the souls I can, in every place I can, at all the times I can, with all the zeal I can, as long as ever I can. And that's a quote adapted from an evangelist in the 18th century named John Wesley. As we continue to talk about goodness this week, our day five focus is on fruit of good deeds. That's what goodness produces. John 15, 2 through 16, the famous vine and branches passage, Jesus speaking. We're going to read through verse 10. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit, so they will produce even more. You have already been pruned and purified by the message I have given you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severed from the vine, and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me, and I in them, will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. But if you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want, and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great glory to my Father. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you remain in my love, just as I obey my Father's commandments and remain in His love. The passage continues. Please read the entire thing. John 15, 2 through 16. James 3:17 says, But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. Romans 1.13 I want you to know, dear brothers and sisters, that I planned many times to visit you, but I was prevented until now. I want to work among you and see spiritual fruit, just as I have seen among other Gentiles. And our memory verse, again, is Romans 14.17 For the kingdom of God is not a matter of what we eat or drink, but of living a life of goodness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Some of today's verse readings come from longer passages for that day's reading. We encourage you to look them up in your Bible so you can get the complete thought contained in them. 
The Alive Church Life Transformation Bible contains all these readings and the verses. If you don't have one, drop us an email, office at alivechurch.com. Have a terrific day.